Hello, this is McDee the Beast, and this is McDee Sports 4 coming to you today with my Week 0 picks for the 2022 college football season. I know it's, I have this video coming out Saturday morning, but college football is here, football is back, and I am excited. Um, before I continue, two quick things. Please subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate if you do that. Like and share the video as well. Um, and the second thing, I know I haven't come out with my full college football predictions. Uh, the reason why is I'm having a bit of an issue with uploading videos. It's kind of choppy. I know what the issue is. I just got to fix it. So, And the videos are already filmed. So I just got to fix that issue. Hopefully I can get those videos out uh, by the latest Monday morning. But anyways, let's get into it. I think we're going to pick six games. There's no top 25 matchup. So we're just going to pick six games. I'm um, here, so we'll kick it off with um, the first game, the 12-30 game, Nebraska versus Northwestern from Dublin, Ireland. Uh, I think this game is kind of an interesting game. Nebraska is currently a 11-point favorite, and I'm filming this at 8.40 in the morning, um, and these uh, lines are from DraftKings, so just to throw that out there. So you look at... Um, this game, I think this game is going to be a bit closer than some people think. Um, right now, as I said, Nebraska is a 11-point favorite. I'm going to take Northwestern plus 11, but I'm going to take Nebraska to win the game. I have Nebraska maybe pulling away with a late field goal touchdown here. 27-17 Nebraska is the score I have. I just think they're the better team overall. Um, but I do think Northwestern is going to hang around in this one. And I think at worst it's going to be a 10-point game. That's why I have it at 27-17. Nebraska. Second game, Wyoming versus Illinois. Uh, Wyoming is going on the road to play Illinois here. Illinois is a 14-point favorite at home. I am absolutely taking Wyoming plus 14 in this one. I think Wyoming um, is definitely going to hang around in this one. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game. The over-under is at 43, so I'm going to take the uh, under there. I know I didn't do the over-under for the last uh, game with Nebraska and Northwestern. We don't usually do that, but I'm just pointing it out. Um, but I'm going to take Illinois to win this game. I think at the end they will win. I got the score 20 to 14 Illinois. I think they are the better team, but I do think Wyoming is going to give them a physical game. Next game Charlotte versus Florida Atlantic. Uh, Florida Atlantic is a seven point favorite at home against Charlotte. Uh, I am going to be paying attention to this game. I'm, because my, my man with Terps plays Charlotte in, I think, week two, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, Florida Atlantic at home. It's Willie really Taggart versus Will Healy. I will take Will Healy over Willie really Taggart uh, as as the head coach as at the uh, coaching helm. But I do think Florida Atlantic is just a bit better than Charlotte. I'm going to take Florida Atlantic to win um, here. I am going to take Charlotte plus seven. Here, um, because I have it as a six-point game, I got Florida Atlantic winning this game, 34-28. Next game, North Texas versus UTEP. UTEP is a one-and-a-half-point underdog at home against North Texas. I'm going to take the mild upset here, and I'm going to take UTEP to win this game um, outright. Uh, I'm going to take UTEP plus one-and-a-half, obviously. I have a 31-27 UTEP. I think UTEP might be the better team. I really do. Um... Is that home for UTEP? North Texas, I, not a bad Conference USA team, um, but they have been kind of up and down. You look at their roster, it's a decent Conference USA roster. That's what, how I kind of view it. Same thing with UTEP, but I'll take UTEP in the slight upset here. Um, it's not my upset of the week. I have an upset and lock of the week that I'm going to give um, you guys here right after I'm finished talking about this North Texas UTEP game. But... Give me Utah plus one and a half at home to win here. So I'll take them out right. Um, and I got Utah going ahead winning this game 31-27. Now we'll start off with the lock of the week. I got Vanderbilt on the road, minus nine, winning and covering. This is my lock of the week. They're going to beat Hawaii. Uh, I had to score 40 to 21. They're a nine-point favorite at on the road on the road against Hawaii. I, I think Vanderbilt. They're I know they're probably the worst team in the SEC, but they're still not. I mean, they are going to be better this year, Vanderbilt. I know I have them going two and ten, um, and not being in many SEC games, but they could compete. I mean, Clark Lee is doing a good job rebuilding the Vanderbilt team there. So 
in Hawaii, they'll kind of they they have a rookie head coach um, there, basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Vanderbilt in this one, 40 to 21. This is my lock of the week. Um, I think they win and cover minus nine. And then my upset of the week. I'm going to take New Mexico State to pull off the upset at home against Nevada. They're eight and a half point dogs at home. I got the score 24-22 New Mexico State. And the reason why is New Mexico State, they bring a lot back on defense. Uh, you look at Nevada, they lose a lot from last year's team as a new quarterback, as a first year head coach there as well at Nevada. They don't really have a lot of experience on that team. Um, so I'm going to take New Mexico State. I think they have a bit more experience on that team. Um, and I think they're going to win. I, I think they're going to win outright. I think as an eight and a half point dog, I have a 24, 22 New Mexico State. And that's my upset of the week. So those are the six picks this week. Um, comment down below. Tell me who you have winning this week. Um, I'm going to release a uh, schedule of how we're going to be doing this weekly, probably on Tuesday. Um, so stay tuned for that, but those are my week zero picks. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to your channel. Greatly appreciate you do that. And this is McDee the Beast signing off.